here to talk about my recently acquired British Avon S6 gas mask. Got this from a uh, fellow collector. Uh, he used to run a, a channel here on YouTube, Retro Respirators. The channel's now dead. But I'm extremely excited to get this. Now, uh, this is the mask, or the predecessor to the S10. This is my 2009 S10 here. Introduced in the 1960s and replaced in the late 1980s, and it is a fantastic mask. So basically, this mask was designed to uh, replace the uh, light anti-gas respirator Mark II, and developed by Avon in the 60s, fielded in the 60s, and it's probably the best mask of its generation. Now, uh, I just I just can't say enough about this mask. It's just fantastic. It's uh, you can definitely see where the S10 came from with the design of this mask. It's just absolutely fantastic. Now, uh, features of the mask, it's got two very, very large eyepieces giving an excellent field of view, uninterrupted field of view. So field of vision off to the sides. A lot of people complain that there's a fisheye effect with this mask. I have no problems with that. I do not get that sensation. It's an extremely good field of view, actually superior to the S10. And it's just fantastic. It's got a very large nose piece right here and on the inside of the mask. Uh, exhale valves like the voice meter, which the voice meter is very good. And it has a filter on the right side, or the wearer's left side of the mask, which is very nice. So 40 millimeter input with actually a 60 millimeter through spread outer. And it's extremely comfortable, a very good mask. So without further ado, let me take the mask off and uh, then review it a little bit more. Now this particular mask was uh, made by Leyland um, British Rubber right here in uh, 1976 from a 1975 contract. This is a size normal and again it's a fantastic mask. The two very large eyepieces. Uh, it has a very nice oral nasal cup and a very large, very clear voice diaphragm. The oral nasal cup actually goes all the way up to the top, which is a little bit of an odd sensation. And then an interesting feature of this mask, it has an inner uh, rubber bladder, which you can actually inflate and deflate using a valve on the inside of the mask. And it's got the standard fare uh, six-point head harness, which unlike the S10, which is rubber, this is made of a nice canvas fabric. So very very nice this is probably my most favorite mask or my second favorite mask after the s10 and just a very cool and actually a variant of this mask is in service with turkish forces called the sr10 so there's a model which is off white and then there's the updated sr10 i forget the exact model name where it actually has a drinking tube in there you can see pictures actually of the uh of the mask in use after unrest in turkey so again as far as this mask is concerned I have to give this a 9 out of 10 just for, uh, for it being so awesome. Again, it's got a great field of view, extremely comfortable. It has a voice meter. The only thing it doesn't lack, or the only thing it lacks is just a voice, or excuse me, a drinking tube and then ballistic lenses, whereas the S10 doesn't have really ballistic lenses, lenses as issued either, so that's not too much of a downfall. Definitely suggest getting one of these. These are uh, pretty hard to find, and uh, I am definitely happy with it. Uh, there's a view of the backside and the uh, inside of the mask, which again, extremely, extremely good. So uh, definitely this is going to be one of my shooting masks for when I go to the range. So I just need to pick myself up a, a Mark V or a Mark VI helmet to go with this bad boy. So just making a very quick uh, video. Hope you guys like it. As always, please make sure to like, comment, subscribe, and share. Thanks for watching.